what's up world how y'all doing so um i wanted to let you guys know that i'm adding something um to my channel it's called uh tt story time so uh with tt story time is um every wednesday i'm going to try my dangness my dangest to mother freaking bring you guys a story upload a video of me telling you guys a story whether it's something from my past you know childhood or whatever you know something that i've experienced you know whatever story time with me tt now i know y'all know me by tiara but um growing up my nickname is uh growing up my nickname was tt and to this day um very close you know family i don't want to say too much friends but it's mostly like a like close family that calls me tt now um so it's me you know it's not something that i just like oh let, this sounds this sounds snazzy let me put this on my on my youtube no like that's 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 really me but um yeah y'all see me y'all gonna see me keep messing with my hair because what happened was i had gym today and um playing gym well i call it gym i guess it's a gym i mean it's a physical education class but um so today i had gym and um it's called intro to basketball and we don't really i mean we learn you know the basics of basketball and all that but it's mostly like just playing basketball and uh yeah i sweated out my hair and as you see i, I wear headbands you know to kind of like push the hair back out my face a little bit so i could wear it you know wild and it's natural form <laughs> but uh yeah so i had sweated my hair out didn't have a hair tie so i had to play basketball with my hair just you know like this just running around like this got all sweaty and stuff and um for those who you know have coarse hair because i don't want to say like black people because i mean black people we we know you know what i'm saying but there's other people out there that's not black or they black you know but they don't know they black because you know the ancestry hasn't confirmed for them yet but they don't know they black but anyways we got these non-black people out here with coarse hair so for those who know how coarse hair is when that joker get wet those curls get to coming and they get to forming and then the next thing you know your hair done dried and now your hair stuck in this form that you can't get out so i was like you know what let me let me let me let me pick at the roots you know as my hair dry <laughs> as my hair dry so that way i won't be walking around ooh, looking like one of these these shrubs you know hair just like just static you know not moving nothing it's just stiff stuck in itself you know in its own form so boom bam we done got off course let me tell you let me take this back. All right, bring us back. Story time with TT. So, bam, like I told y'all, I had basketball today, right? So, let me tell y'all about my experience with basketball. So, growing up, you know, I love basketball. Growing up, I was a tomboy. To this day, I'm still tomboyish, but I don't really, I don't know. I don't really like to say tomboyish because I feel like that's just another one of those you know, those roles that we put onto people. It's one of those categories that we put onto people, you know, onto females that does not fit in the ideal, you know, feminine bracket. So I don't really like to claim it, but you know, for those, so you got an idea. So growing up, I was what people refer to as a tomboy. I love basketball and everything. And that was before, you know, I knew I was a girl. No, I really did know I was a girl. Okay, I knew I was a girl. You know, it's just, I ignored the fact that I had a vagina. I ignored the fact that at some point in my life, I'm going to grow boobs. And then when that time actually came, I ignored the fact that I actually had boobs. <laughs> so, I knew I was a girl. But, um, yeah, so I played basketball a lot, but I never played 
organizational basketball. So I never really, you know, like learned uh, basketball, you know, from a, an organized standpoint. I never learned, you know, like, I, I never learned basketball as a technique. You know, I've always known basketball as, you know, my parents bought a basketball. We went to Cobb's Hill to shot the basketball. You know, we, we played one-on-one. Or we'll gather however many people we can get, three on three, two on two, you know, five on five, whatever the case is. Or if it's just one on one, we play at 21, you know, or playing horse, you know, so it's stuff like that. But I ain't, you know, and then as I got older, you know what, I was like, I made softball, you know, the varsity team, my very first try, my junior year, you know, with no experience in organized sports. So let me go for basketball. And I did that my senior year. Never played basketball for, you know, as an organized sport to my senior year, got selected varsity. Now, no, my team was not trash. Cause I know y'all, you know, there's no schools out there that the team, you know, the school is so trash. The, the girls, you know, like not even the girls, but the students, cause it's males and females equally. You got those schools where the students are just so trash, right? And they like, you know what, we need a varsity basketball team anyway, so let's just select the best trash people, you know what I'm saying, and put them. That's not like my school, you know. Like, I le legit uh, am a decent player. Like, you know, I have speed. I'm not afraid to put defense on you. It's just my shots aren't consistent. That's all I think. My shots aren't consistent. And I won't lie and say that I'm mother freaking the female Steph Curry, Stephanie Curry, hell to the no, nigga. I'm more like Shaq on a good day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, um, so boom. I played basketball growing up. But, but as I grew older, you know, caught a couple of titties, you know, a couple of elbows to the titties, caught a couple of titties to the elbows, whatever, you know, order you want to put it in. I got tired of it. I was just like, I'm tired of my, my boobs getting, you know, jabbed. I'm getting punched in the tit, you know, I'm motherfucking jamming fingers, like, I had, I had more, I want to say, a, like, a finger cast, at least, like, on two, maybe three different occasions as a kid, from motherfucking jamming my finger, playing basketball, you know what I'm saying, so, I was like, I'm tired of this, you know, so I was like, I'm done with basketball, you know, after my varsity team, you know, I, I didn't play, like, I didn't get much play time because I didn't have much experience. And, you know, the teams, they got to play the girls that was there first. And, woo -doo, make them feel good because they decided to join basketball since middle school. So, you know, and it's their senior year, you want to give them all the play time. So, it's like, do you? You know, F you. I'm out of here. I don't want to play basketball anymore anyway. So, every time I get, you know, involved in a basketball game, I'm always getting hurt. And it's always like that. Even when I play on the street. And like like a park basketball court, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm always getting motherfucking hurt. So today playing motherfucking basketball, you know, I've been in my basketball class for like at least two weeks probably. You know, late edition. And the first two weeks I've been playing, I've been playing all with you know, like how they would classify like she playing like a girl. Like I was playing like that, you know. But not too like, you know, feeding into the stereotype, but I was I was knocking on the stereotype door. You know, and I was like, you know what? I'm not even this type of chick. You know, like I'm like, I was like, I grew up tough. You know, all my life I fought dudes. You know, like I was like, I never lost a fight. You know, I was in my type taekwondo boxing. You know, self defense. I went, you know, I joined the Marine Corps. I was in the Marine Corps. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a boss. I'm a beast. You know, the taekwondo boxing, all that stuff. So I was like, I'm gonna play motherfucking basketball like how I'm supposed to play it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put out. So this guy went up for the shot, right? And I was like, nah, this nigga not about to score me. Pause. When I say nigga, I'm not, there's no color to that. So please know, if you're white, if you're Hispanic, if your mother freaking Middle Eastern, in my book, you're a nigga. It's just a universal term for me. And it's not, and I don't mean it in a derogatory term. Now, if you find offense to it, let me know. I won't, you know, say it to you, you know, like call you a nigga. You know what I'm saying? I would try my darkness to not, you know, specifically call you one. But when I'm generally speaking of a, you know, everybody knows. There's, there's not no one race to this. So anyways, so I'm like, nah, this nigga not about to score on me. 
this is not about to happen. So I was like, boom, I'm about to go up with this dude. So he goes up, he trying to put in for the layup. I'm like, no, we like the same size. <laughs> like this dude, he, he shy of six feet. You know, he has to be at least 160, 170 pounds. And I'm 5'8", 100 and about 80 pounds. So I'm like, yes, let's go. So I go up with the dude, boom, ah. That shot didn't go in. Yes, everybody's like, good defense. Yada, 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 woo, 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 woo. I'm like, yeah, I got that shot. I came down, he was like, you okay? Are, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. You know, I'm looking like, I'm, I'm As I say, I'm, you know, I put my hands up. I slowly, like I felt the slowest onset of some mother freaking pain in my life. The slow, this mother freaking, when I say this pain, it was the most annoying, stinging pain I've have ever felt in my life. But this junk just crept up on me, and it legit felt like somebody took like a knife and just stabbed me dead in my pub area, like just straight boom stab. Ah, like it was, it it was burning, it was sore. Like I couldn't touch it, I couldn't walk because it hurt. So I was like, whoa! I was, I put my hands on my hips. I'm like. I'm all like trying to catch my breath. He's all like, you know, we try to go on to the next play or whatever. And um, he's all like, you all right? You good? Blah, blah, blah. Like, they all trying to pass in the ball because, you know, we going through the thing. We going through the next play. And he's like, you all right? Yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. Oh, man. And he's just like, you sure? And I'm like, dude. I'm good. Like, I couldn't even talk. And this whole time, like, in my mind, I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I'm in so much mother freaking pain. Like, I want to sit down. I don't even want to play basketball no more. Like, I really want to cry right now. I want to sit on the floor and just cry. So as I'm, like, contemplating on what I want to do, my body, against my will, is walking towards the coach. And I'm just, like, coming towards him. And I'm like, what the freak is going on? Like, the play, you know, the next, like, the next play is going. Like, the ball is thrown in. And I'm like, oh shoot, I gotta go that way. You know, like I'm still playing. Like, why am I walking towards the coach? And that's when I realized I was about to ask him, like, coach, can I, can I, can I get a timeout or something? Can I sit out? Like, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Like, my dude, I couldn't breathe. I could barely walk. Like, I tried to get a little trot going because I was like, oh shoot, everybody on the other side of the court. Let me get down there. The slowest walk. Everybody's just looking at me like, what's she doing? The dude's still on the other side of the like, are you okay? Are you, you sure you all right? And I'm just like, like I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. But all the while, I'm hurt. My dude, this pain occurred almost an hour ago. I'm still hurting. And you know, y'all know, know, I don't know what the area is called, so I'm calling it my pube area. But y'all all know what that area is called, right? And for us females, like our dudes, I'm pretty sure like our body makeup isn't too much different, you know? Like, you know, I'm pretty sure the same area that was hit where I'm referring to as my pubic area is the same as yours, like, like but for females, you know, that bone, that bone, you got you got your lips, you got your, your outer lips, and then it creeps into the, the skin that leads to the, the pubes hair. And as it comes up, you come across some bone, and then it's that glorious pubes area. Well, that area that's right between that glorious pube area and my mother freaking lips. The bone right in between there, behind the skin, hurts. Like that is where this nigga hit me. He didn't hit clit, you know? He didn't hit stomach. He didn't even hit my whole, he didn't even hit my groin. You know what I'm saying? Like this nigga specifically hit pinpoint, pinpoint, the boniest area in that whole. 
Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about, ladies. If y'all was the mother freaking say, for instance, you know, you playing around and say, like the railing on the highway, or at the store, you got those mother freaking pillars, you know, that the the, the, the guides your parking and stuff. Let one of y'all jokers try to hop over that and hit your mother freaking you gooder area bone on that. You know exactly. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's the area I hit. And that joke still hurts. So, I say y'all let's say this. Don't play basketball. You know, like, if you legit can't, like, mother freaking get need in the balls and walk off, 100% fine, or if you can't dang near get need in your uterus, you know what I'm saying, and your mother fallopian tubes, and you can't walk off, you know, 100%, and you can't play, you don't, you don't even need to do it, like, because I'm not about that life, like, I'm telling you, and it, it never fell, every time I'm like, I'm gonna I'm fall back from, from sports, I'm gonna fall back, and then, I'm like, man, I need to get back in there. I can't be acting like no punk. You know, people already got the stereotypes out there about females anywhere being trash with basketball, da 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 da. Let me get on in it. And every time I go in, hurt, boom, and then I'm out. So I love y'all.